this is Nibiru Watcher. It is July 17th, 2017. And what we're going to look at is Planet X seen through the lens array on five cameras at the same time. Now, let's just get right into it because this is getting very interesting and I believe this is on the final approach. So, let me just show you the five cameras at the same time frame usually starting actually between the hours of about 2100 hours to about 1 in the morning and we can see in a minute here so let's watch the progression of this object this people want to call this a spider but I find it very curious that the same object appears on five cameras the same time in multiple countries <laughs> hang out for a few hours and disappear and change color and shape and it just gets interesting by the moment so here we have would this be the spider and this I know <laughs> if we look at a spider on a camera lens it would look more distinct than this so here is the camera yeah there could be spiders out there because this one's mounted on a tree right okay but uh, just hang in there for a second. Here's a guy mounting it. Not a whole lot could be too far in front of this thing. But let's just watch the progression of this. And my other previous photos, videos, I have shown shadows of these. You can't always get a shadow on the water because it's a shadow. It, begins, it depends on the direction of the light and where the shadow's being cast. Here we can see this object projecting its image here. So let's just watch the same thing. I'll go back over the time lapse. This was over late Chimsey. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This camera, these all these cameras are the south and the southwest. See southwest direction right here. Next, at the same time, over Lake Starnberg. Let me translate that real quick. This is also facing the southwest. Let's see, we get the direction of the view is the southwest. Okay, so here's like Starnberg. Let's watch this. At the same timestamp, we see the similar object in the side at the same time, which by the way is approaching the Virgo constellation. Isn't that interesting? So we see this thing begin to appear and then disappear the same characteristics that the same object appears and disappears for this same time frame roughly about one o'clock in the morning or about midnight again yet another camera showing the same object this one here starts at 2100 hours and grows bigger in the sky sometimes daily shadows depending on the direction of the light and let's watch the progression of this timestamp. It's the same day, Sunday the 16th, over Europe. So here we have it in this camera. Let me enlarge it. Yep, and that's the frame. It disappeared. And go back. If we zoom on it, zoom, click on the photos, this top part gets cropped off by this whole logo thing so it really helped to see to click on this and again this has been cropped off so let me click on this one again this is also another south facing camera at the same time let's click on this and lo and behold picking up in the infrared spectrum hold on to that thought infrared that's why you can't see it it's infrared unless light shines directly on it from nemesis or our sun we cannot see with the naked eye that's why the government set an infrared system so there is four cameras there camera number five at the same time let's look at the timestamp here with this black mass here that appeared in the sky again in the southwest there you go that thing has gotten bigger and bigger i think it's on its final approach Let's just watch that black mass just 
take up the whole sky. Look at this. It appears as though there's another orbiting body next to it. It could be one of the moons. Look at that thing. Now, you're going to be stumped to wonder why I still see stars through it. It's because it's a shadow. It's a projection from the lens array. Please go back and watch my video about these high-tech lenses, probably most likely part of Project Bluebeam, capable of creating displays, fake stars, and even... Again, yeah, you see light through it. But you can see light through a hologram also, because it is a projection. Light being bent and distorted, and I believe acting more like a one-way mirror, filtering out what they don't want us to see. However, they have a hard time blocking these shadows is the absence of light. And here is a time lapse. Going back in time a little bit to the 27th of June, let's watch this thing come in. So we see with 2100 hours and watching this object come in, you can almost make out the shadow here. You're not always going to get shadows. It's not a debunk because you can't see a reflection of a shadow. It depends on the source of the light and the direction of the shadow. It'd be behind the camera, most likely, or way over here. Just missed it. Can't always get that perfect angle. So look at that thing just come in. Look at the timestamp on that thing. And here is another planetary shadow. You can see it's a projection like a hologram. Therefore, you can see through it. This thing has been distorted. And the direction of this thing, let's go back. So I'm going to go back to this as a reference point because these are all south-facing cameras all over Europe. Here is the camera. Again, this faces the south. This is in Austria. It goes south. Now let's pull this up on Stellarium. And see where we're at. I'm going to verify the fact. See this little arrow here? You can see that there is Europe, this rough area, this neighborhood here. And let's verify the timestamp. And we pull up the time window. We're, I would like to get 2300 hours. Actually, let's get this real accurate here. What was the timestamp? 2230. So let's get where this thing was at, at the time. Uh, and the, look, lo and behold, facing the south, that puts us, I'd say, right here. And I believe this thing is going to end up where it came, like we see. So let me, uh, <laughs> let me show you something else that some of you may know. So, in the Google Sky, we have the coordinates of this mysterious blacked out object in the Virgo constellation, which I believe it's going to cross right through here on October 11th. That's where it's going to pass. I'm literally passing through. And I think it hasn't passed Venus, Venus yet, but when it does, I think it's going to react with it. And we're going to get that star spoke thing. This mysterious light is this bright white light reacts like spokes as it reacts with Venus. Now, I want you to notice these coordinates, and let's zoom in on this image here. This blacked out dragon, this was seen. I want to show you that this is in the infrared spectrum. You cannot see Planet X with naked eye. But let's look at these same coordinates here. Take note, and let's look at sky view, and here is the hidden image. I believe this to be the binary star, possibly Becky Lewis had seen. This object here, I'm curious to see the timing of this event if Virgo was in the sky at the time of Becky Lewis's drawing. And I believe it's Pat coming up on Venus next. According to a lot of experts, it's supposed to pass between Venus and Mars. And I believe it's going to eventually exit through the Virgo constellation right here at some point in time. No one really knows, but I have my suspicions that when 
Jupiter leaves, it's going to pass Jupiter. Okay, it's just a theory, but I believe this is the direction that it's passing. It's coming through here. It's going to pass through this point. And at that point, everybody's definitely going to see it when it does cross. So there's no hiding it anymore. So let's see if I can go back on the timestamp on some of these videos up. And we can see the progression of this moving spot that couldn't possibly be on the lens because it doesn't change color and suddenly disappear. It's not something on the lens. And it doesn't change size. And it's on five cameras at the same time, night after night, getting bigger and bigger. So let's look at this one, I think. I don't know if we showed you this one, but let me go back and do a review. And what many would say, look at that. How do you explain that? Why is this happening? At midnight that's a pretty compelling evidence to me look, let's look at the very close look at that object go ahead and call a spider I don't care because it's not you heard it from my channel first you've been warned that I absolutely in my heart believe that that is planet X a holographic image of it and by the way when this eclipses our Sun one day and casts its shadow on our earth and our moon that's gonna black out the Sun and turn the moon into blood red just like the intro of my video right out of Joel book of Joel in the Old Testament remember that the Sun shall be darkened and the moon turned into blood so this is the object that's going to do that. So please copy, like, and share this video. Have a blessed day.